Hey there, um, welcome to another tutorial from Dirt Productions. My name is Ruben and today I'm going to teach you how to create beautiful strokes like seen on our channel recently uploaded and I'm going to teach you how to create those in Adobe After Effects. Alright, now it's actually really simple to do because a lot of people told me wow that just looked terrific, it was awesome, you know? And I was thinking, well, if I can do it with such little work, well it was a little bit of work, about four hours or so, but if you put the time into it, you can really, really create something great. So I'm going to teach you how to actually do this. Um, we're only using a, uh, a preset um, from Trapcode particular. And um, I'm just going to show you right now how to get to this. Okay, well, I created a composition and I used the HDV preset and that is this width and this height and um, well just put it on about 30 seconds and click OK. Now before you want uh, uh, or you can apply this effect you need to create a solid so with Ctrl Y and doesn't matter which color you're using but just click OK there we go we created a dark gray solid. Now to apply the effect you cannot go to effect trap code particular. We need to go into the effects and presets and type in trap. Oops. Um, no, part. <laughs> and here we have the particular dance. This is actually a, uh, a plugin that I also used for another video. So let's uh, preview this. There you go. You can just see it looks, uh, looks quite nice. But we are not going to use this one, or maybe later on, we are going to choose in an animation preset right here. And there comes up an enormous thing or type of things. And um, what I first want to show you is this uh, plugin or this preset called White Glow Colorful. Just go ahead and click on that. Now let's check this out. Isn't this terrific? This looks nice, doesn't it? Well, you can actually do uh, trillions of things with this, but for now I'm just going to animate it uh, from the left to the right. So how you're going to do this is you see these uh, points, it's uh, the point of interest and the actual uh, thing. So if you move it outside of the screen, right there and if we go to the position hit UU and there we go the uh, particular position let's remove those and set a keyframe move forward and just bring it right here now I'm not quite sure if this is gonna work out as a one but I'm just gonna try You see how beautiful this is. Now, uh, in the movie you also saw some blue, but it's only happening right here, so as you can see. But um, if you want also the blue in, go to the particular seconds, or uh, what did I say, particular options. Go to size and just scale them up to about uh, 40 or something. Now. With this animation done, we need to um, animate the text in. So we're gonna create a title and scale this up. Now I'm not quite sure uh, what font I uh, used for that video, but I'm just going to uh, guess it was uh, something called called Calibri. Uh, you can also use, uh, use a uh, font called Sentry Codec, but I am i don't have it right here on this PC. Um, Alright, now 
as you can see, it animates in and out, and you cannot really see through if we uh, move this text beneath the layer. So I'm going to apply a uh, linear wipe to this effect. So with this layer select, go to effects, um, transition, linear wipe. And you see it's on 0%. If you bring this up, it's animating in. But we want it to animate in from a different angle. So just flip this around like this and bring it up to 100%. And about here, set a uh, keyframe, bring up the feather by the way, and move forward to about there and put it down to zero. Now, if we play this back, as you can see, uh, it looks really great. Now, I actually, well, it's actually pretty good. <laughs> I'm surprised. Well, um, before we go on, I actually want to uh, tell you a little bit about how to actually make this look even better. That because of this color, or these colors actually, um, we want to um, let them pop out like more intensive. So I'm gonna create another solid and I'm going to make it, uh, let's see, a bit of a, uh, well, let's just create a solid, doesn't matter what color, and apply a, a ramp. And I'm going to make this ramp colors of the uh, actual footage. So that's red to uh, or yellow, green, blue kind of thing. So I'm going to try to make this look great. And a little red, blue kind of thing. Hmm. Something like this should be good. And uh, go ahead and take your ellipse tool and double click it. Now you see we have just created this nice circle. Double click these uh, frames, keyframes, and uh, bring them out like that they are overlapping the text like this. Now hit F and you can see the feathering options come up and bring this up to about this big. It's starting to look really nice. Now bring this underneath all the layers and I'm going to need to uh, place this a little bit better, something like this, and also for the particles and the text, yeah, make sure they are uh, in the center. Now, if you find this too intensive, the background, just hit T and bring down the opacity. So animate this in, we also gonna apply a uh, linear wipe, so go to transitions, linear wipe, and um, let's see, flip the angle, feather it, set a, or bring it up to 100. Now set a uh, keyframe for the transition, and to about there, we want it to be zero. So let's uh, preview this. There we go, that looks great. Now you can see the uh, actual background or it, it doesn't fade in at the right time. So we're gonna play a little bit with this and just bring it, the keyframe uh, a little bit closer. All right, now what I actually also want is uh, the text to be more stylish, better. And we're going to do that by applying Follow me quick right now. A layer styles drop shadow and a effect called glow and effect generate and a ramp. There we go. So that's a drop shadow, glow and a ramp. Now for the ramp, I want to set a uh, green at the top 
and a yellow at the bottom. There we go. Now I'll bring those points a little bit closer. Maybe even not straight. So it's kind of a uh, yeah. This looks great. Um, now maybe if you want to have it like even uh, more complicated, then if you have the uh, video copilot evolutions folder, let's bring that up real quick. Um, let me grab the CD-ROM real quick. Well, I inserted disk, but uh, well, Windows doesn't allow me to uh, play it, so I'm sorry, guys. But what you could do is um, add flourishes to uh, behind the text, so create a mask around your text and let those flourishes with a glow and a ramp just grow behind your text and also animate them in behind your uh, first animation. Now, uh, I hope you learned something from this. You can also uh, add a second layer. So if we duplicate, oops, if we duplicate this layer and bring it down, it maybe uh, presents and scale it down. Maybe bring it even over to this side. There we go, and uh, maybe offset time for a little bit right there. Let's uh, preview this. There we go, that just looks great. Now you can see that the text um, here comes earlier than the actual uh, animation. So uh, you just want to uh, line this up and uh, you'll be fine. Now, let's take a look at the actual um, final render. All right, now the rendering uh, is done, but it's really poor quality because of the, uh, yeah, recording. So, uh, well, here it is. still here. Well, uh, thanks for watching then, and uh, don't forget to subscribe to our new, well, old channel with a new layout, and uh, I hope to see you next time on another tutorial or video. My name is Ruben for Dirt Productions. Check this out, this is great. Subscribe.